A small video. Okay. All right. This is uh, Deep Frost first, or? No, the one. The system is calling for cool. Calling for cool. All right. Yeah. Your power going to number four terminal. Okay. It sends the power to the thermostat. When the thermostat calls for cool, it closes, energizing your LLSV, which opens up, releasing refrigerant through the system. It also energizes your POR, which closes the set of contacts. Now, once your pressure builds up, your low pressure control senses it, it closes, mm -hmm. sending power through your POR, through your oil pressure switch, your contact coil. through your uh, lockout relay, all into your contact coil, energizing your contact coil and your HOR. Your HOR is part of your defrost cycle, the normally closed switch. When it energizes, it opens, preventing the defrost heater running while your compressor is running. Okay. The contact coil closes. As that closes, it closes your auxiliary contacts and your L1, T1, T2, L2, letting your compressor and CFM cycle. Okay. That's cooling. All right. That is cooling. Calling for cool. Good job, man. And it goes into defrost. You ready? Yeah, defrost. Okay, this is defrost. <clears throat> Calls for defrost, the timer. To activate the switch, sending power to number three. Three, okay. Once that happens, it kills power to four. Goes over to your LLSV, killing power to your LLSV, which closes your solenoid valve, sending the system into a pump down. It also kills power to your POR, which opens up your POR. But your compressor is still running until the low pressure control senses it. Once since you're in pump down, your low pressure control opens, killing power to your contact coil in the HOR. Your uh, contact coil opens up your auxiliary. And since your HOR is normally closed switch, it goes back, letting the power go all the way through your HOR, your defrost heater, mm -hmm. and return going into defrost. Sweet. That's it. Until timer can